Cleaning and maintaining your Mythos One grinder. For this job, you'll need a 20 mil and a 17 mil offset ring spanner, a one and a two point Phillips screwdriver, metal pick, grinder brush, and a vacuum. Start by switching off your grinder. Remove the top hopper, and with a vacuum, clean out any coffee that might still be left behind. Once this is cleaned, unplug the front element, and with your large Phillips head screwdriver, remove the four screws from the front burr carrier. Keep these in a safe place while cleaning. Remove the front burr carrier. Using a pick or a brush, loosen up any coffee that's left in the back blades using a vacuum to clean anything that's left behind. Replace the front element and burr carrier by installing the four screws with an even tension. Plug the element back in, replace the hopper, and you're good to go. Start by switching off your grinder. Remove the top hopper and with a vacuum, clean out any coffee that might still be left behind. Once this is cleaned, unplug the front element and with your large Phillips head screwdriver, remove the four screws from the front burr carrier. Keep these in a safe place while cleaning. Remove the front burr carrier. Using a pick or a brush, loosen up any coffee that's left in the back blades using a vacuum to clean anything that's left behind. We then use a 20mm offset ring spanner on the rear nut, loosening the top nut with a 17mm spanner in a clockwise direction. Unscrew the bolt, remove the washer, keeping these in a safe place. Carefully take off the back burr carrier. Use a pick or a brush to remove any coffee that's left in the chamber. Use a vacuum cleaner to finish the job. Using a small Phillips head screwdriver, remove the two screws from the front chute plate. Using a brush and a vacuum, Remove any coffee that remains, then reattach the front chute plate. Carefully clean and remove any coffee that might be left on both the front and the rear blades. A brush is best for this, making sure that there is no coffee left behind. Carefully replace the rear burr carrier, lining up the notch with a notch in the spindle at the back of the grinder. Slide the rear burr carrier over the spindle, lining up the notches using a rocking motion to make sure it's secure. Once this is in place, tighten the top nut using the two ring spanners in an anti-clockwise direction. Replace the front element and burr carrier by installing the four screws with an even tension. Plug the element back in, replace the hopper, and you're good to go.